Today is Wednesday, um, and today is Blue Day. So I want um, to share with you this slide that we did yesterday to talk about yellow. We're going to read it again. You should have entered it in your primary journal. Um, and it says, I see one yellow star. Today, you're going to use your primary journal. Then it looks like this. And you're going to put in a new sentence. And it says, I see two blue triangles. So you're going to write your, your sentence with a pencil, making sure to stay in your lines. Um, if you are writing a sentence, if you feel comfortable doing that, if you just want to write two rectangles, you can do that also, just to practice getting your pencil on paper and working um, between those line spaces. So I'm going to put this over here. I see two blue triangles. And then in the top, I'm going to draw two blue triangles. So um, you don't want to draw green or yellow because that's not what you read about. You want to draw blue. So one, um, I said triangles, rectangles, two blue rectangles. So two blue rectangles. You're going to write it in here and then you would color again. So go ahead and write your sentence or your word. You can write um, two rectangles if you just want to write a word underneath it. I see two blue rectangles or two rectangles, whichever one you're more comfortable with. And then today we're going to be talking about um, Little Boy Blue. So that's the nursery rhyme we're going to be looking at today. You should have watched the song Little Boy Blue already. And we're going to read this the nursery rhyme together, Little Boy Blue. Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow. The cows in the corn. But where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under a haystack, fast asleep. All right, so today for your little boy blue, um, you're going to read it again with your parent or whoever is helping you with virtual learning today. Read the nursery rhyme. Make sure you track using your finger and then color your little boy blue page. You know, it has a lot of details. So if you want to break it up and do a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon, then that's okay too. I know it takes a little time to color. That would be something we work on throughout the day in the classroom. So um, feel free to do that. But make sure you use your three-star coloring that you leave no white spaces that you color in the lines, and that you use colors that make sense. Little boy blue, he's not all blue, his clothes are blue. Um, so the haystack shouldn't be blue, it should be like a yellow color. So, so think about that before you color your page. All right.